Google has just launched a series of professional certificate programs that I think you would be interested in. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. So in this website, grow.google slash certificates, you're going to be seeing here that the career certificates that they are offering is comprised of IT support, data analytics, project management, UX design. The only certificate that is currently being launched is the IT support. And so let's have a look at this one. And so you can see that they have partnered up with Coursera. And the great thing about this program is that there's no requirement on the experience that is needed to get started in this program. The program is 100% remote and you could study on this via online learning. And on average, you'll be spending about 10 hours of study per week. And based on their own statistical data, most of the learners can complete the program in about half a year. And so currently there's about two major modules here that you could see. So the first one is an introductory level and it is the IT support certificate. And so here you're going to be learning about troubleshooting and customer care, networking, operating systems, system administration, and security. And so this program is going to provide you skills that you need for an introductory level job in IT support. And as previously mentioned, there is no relevant experience required. And upon completion of this introductory level certificate, you can feel free to also take the advanced level certificate and it's going to be on IT automation with Python. Or if you are already familiar with some basic concepts in IT, you could feel free to take this course as well. And so some of the topics that you'll be learning includes Python programming, IT automation, troubleshooting and debugging, testing in Python, and how to set up your developer environment. And so let's click on here to see the full curriculum. So, so these are the courses that you're going to be taking for the introductory IT support certificates. And so for the IT automation with Python, let's have a look at the curriculum. Okay, so there's a total of six courses here and five courses here. Okay, so let's take a closer look here on the IT automation. So you're going to be learning about Python. And in my own opinion, Python is a very powerful language and it is a general purpose language that will allow you to do many tasks such as performing typical functions that you would normally do when using spreadsheet programs or word processing programs, as well as processing big amounts of data. And as the name implies for this certificate, Python is also very efficient in allowing you to automate many aspects of your workflow. As you will see on this YouTube channel, The Data Professor, we have several projects where we show you how to use Python to build data science projects, to build machine learning models in order to make sense of data. And so the power of Python comes from its large collection of libraries, whereby each library comprises of unique functions that will help you to conquer the various tasks or workflow that you're doing. You could think of Python as kind of like a language that will allow you to glue together many and various workflows together in a seamless manner. And so aside from Python, you're also going to be taking a look at how you could use Python to interact with the operating system, perhaps for file handling, for file management, creating directories, organizing your files, etc. You could also use it to rename your files as well. And then you're also going to be learning about Git and GitHub. And so this is very useful for data scientists and also for software engineering projects, whereby it will allow you to share your code and data as well as perform version controls, as well as allow the general general public or other people in your team or other interested individual to contribute to your projects. And you'll be learning about troubleshooting, debugging, configuration management, and the cloud, automating real world tasks with Python. So based on my own experience for the first time when I used Python, I used it to automatically merge data from thousands of Microsoft Excel files. And so what used to take me a couple of months to perform the aggregation of all of the data from thousands of files it took me about a week to code. And after that, by applying the code, it took me in under an hour to perform the same task that used to take several months. And so I believe that you'll find Python to be a very powerful language that will allow you to automate many aspects of your workflow. Okay, so this is the Google IT certificates. And if you click here, you'll be taken to the website of Coursera. 
And so the two certificates that we have already covered is shown here on the left and right here. So the introductory and the more advanced level. Okay, so the benefits of the program, they provide you interactive hands-on projects and you can study this 100% online. And the great thing is that they'll provide you a professional certificate as well. And they'll provide you opportunities to network with potential employers, which will also help to spearhead your career transition or also to take you to the next step of your career. Okay, so they have some introductory videos, some success stories, and so they have a seven day free trial. And so you could check out these two by clicking on the link. Okay, so this is the one from Coursera and Google. And so based on prior learners of the program, they were able to complete the program in about six months time, averaging about 10 hours per week. Okay. And this is the IT automation. Let's have a look. Okay. So if you're interested in this one, you can feel free to join their course. Okay, and so let's head over back. And so for the audience of this channel who's interested in data science and data analytics, you're going to be interested in the fact that Google Professional Certificate is offering a data analytics program. So let's have a look here. So as you can see here, the program is not yet available. And so please stay tuned for that. And as soon as it becomes available, I'll try my best to keep you all updated. And so in the meantime, let's have a look. So as previously mentioned for the other program, no relevant experience is required. It is 100% remote and you'll be studying on Coursera and it takes about 10 hours of study per week. So Google is providing you with some data that average entry level salary in data analytics is about 67,900. And there are about 300,000 job openings in the field of data analytics. So what can you become if you have data analytics skill? Well, this includes junior data analyst, associate data analyst, junior data scientist, finance analyst, operations analyst, healthcare analyst, business intelligence analyst, marketing analyst, business performance analyst, data technician. So you can see here that it is an entry level data analytics certificate. And some of the topics that you'll be learning about includes data type and structures, using data to solve problems, how to analyze data, data storytelling with visualization, and using our programming to supercharge your analysis. Okay. So in this program, you're going to be seeing that our programming is used. And on this YouTube channel, I've previously created a video talking about the two popular languages that you could learn if you want to become a data scientist. And so that is R and Python. Okay, so this course will take you for an introductory look at some of the essential tasks in data analytics and also data science. So let's have a look at the full curriculum here. So there's the foundation. So they're gonna talk about the data and the importance of data, and also to ask questions to make data-driven decisions. How you could prepare data for exploration, how you could process data from dirty to clean. And so this is data cleaning, analyze data to answer questions, share data through the art of visualization. And so this is one of my favorite part is to visualize data. And so so you could add your imagination and your creativity in order to create useful graphs, plots that also is kind of like a piece of art for telling the story of data. Other courses include data analysis with R programming, and you'll also be doing a data analytics capstone project. And so you're going to complete a case study. Okay. And so there is an introductory video. If you want to watch it, you could click here and it will take you to the YouTube channel of Google career certificates. And so you're going to be seeing here that there's a video on data analytics. And so you could feel free to check that out. Data analytics for beginners. Okay. And there's also videos on IT support program as well. Okay. So let's have a look here at the highlights. Complete the Google Data Analytics Certificate at your own pace. Improve your interview technique and resume with access to career resources. Get your foot in the door with top employers through the Google Hiring Consortium. Okay, so I think this is also one of the highlights of this program as well. So aside from getting the knowledge, you're also going to have access to the Google Hiring Consortium. So this is a great way to connect with employers. 
Okay, so here are some frequently asked questions that you could read about the program. Let's have a look at how much does the program cost. All right, so it says here that the professional certificate program offered from Google is going to be costing you about $39 per month, and it is a subscription on Coursera. Okay, so if you need financial assistance, you could feel free to reach out to them. And as mentioned earlier on, this program is coming soon. Let's head over back. And there are two additional programs on project management and UX design. And so if you're interested in these programs, then you could feel free to have a look. And so if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.